So my director of marketing, Rebecca Toomey, uh, she just got married, folks, so uh, her name is Toomey and not Smith. Uh, i, I got to remember this every single day for the next month or so until I get in a habit. But anyway, I digress. She just recently sent me an article and said, I think this might be good for your vlog or vlog, as I call it. Um, the title of the article is Resilience is the new happy, or that's what I'm calling it. The, the article is actually something like resilience makes you happy. Um, so I'm saying, hmm, there's something there. Let me think about that for a minute. And then I started thinking about it, and then I realized that there's a lot of truth to what this article says. Um, even though between us, I didn't actually read it, but I ran with the uh, title and I wanted to make the topic my own. So here am I giving you my version of resilience is the new happy. Um, first off, I'm going to define what's happy, like at work, right? In sales, uh, that's what we focus on. Um, what makes us happy or what makes me happy? And I'm going to give you two very simple definitions. One is completing and completions. Two is not withholding, meaning that I have the ability to really say, obviously, in a correct non-offensive way what's on my mind and not withhold and not be resentful which I think makes me unhappy so that's happy what's resilience that's the next question um, I like to define resilience as not what the traditional definition might have you believe like gritting teeth uh, withholding against something um, resisting that's not what I mean by resilience what I'm talking about very specifically for me personally and for a lot of people I know is resilience against my own head trash, my own little internal voice. Um, having resilience to not give into it, to not act from it. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I think me personally, I have to watch carefully is this head trash conversation that I have that I don't have enough time. Um, I have too much to do and it causes me stress and I got to tell you I think that's a human phenomena that's a head trash phenomena dogs don't have too much to do shrimp don't have too much to do it's something that we kind of invent and I think create angst on our own without anyone actually doing it to us and then um, it, so that's me as a salesperson but I also think me as a manager have to have the same resilience to not only not listen to my own head trash, but not to act from, I mean, I can certainly listen, but not act from my team's head trash, the people that are reporting to me. And frankly, throughout the years that I've been a sales VP, a sales director, a sales manager, and a leader, uh, I think I'm often tempted to listen to someone's head trash. And frankly, I don't mean to offend anybody, but a lot of the time I'm getting served up head trash. And my first inclination is to want to deal with it. But over the years, I've trained myself to be resilient and not um, do a knee jerk uh, reaction to people's head trash and really um, spend time giving people space and letting them deal with their own head trash. So that's it. Resilience makes you happy.